Joining us now on the program, we have Trooper David Peters. He's a public information community service officer in our neck of the woods, as I like to say. So thanks for joining us via Zoom. Oh, thanks for having me. So Child Passenger Safety Week is upon us, and, and this is something where we draw awareness for the week about the importance of having uh, your child in a, an, in a safety seat in their vehicle. Correct. Uh, it, it should be something that people are aware of all year round, but yes, uh, during this week, we like to bring light to the safety features and, and make parents realize uh, the proper seat they should and, and understanding what a car seat actually does for their child. I mean, car accidents, or car collisions, as to say, you know, they are the leading cause of death for young individuals. Um, and not having them properly seat belted, uh, even for their parents not being properly seat belted, uh, can sometimes result in a, a serious injury and or death. So it's very important that they understand how to uh, maybe understanding car seats, but also understanding the reasons uh, why they should properly have it properly installed for their child. I can remember back to when I had my first child. I actually sat at the police barracks crying with my safety seat in the box because I was so stressed out on how to put this safety seat in. You offer at the police barracks um, instruction, hands-on on how to install um, these car seats. Is that going on during COVID or how can people get help? Yeah, it, it is still going on. Normally each station in Troop End uh, areas so like Bloomsburg, Lehigh and Hazleton, uh, Fern Ridge and Stroudsburg, they have designated days, uh, like like the first week of the month on a Tuesday, people can just come in and get their car seat done. But because of COVID, they've asked us to do them by appointments. Um, so we have always done it. We don't push people and make them wait. If you call, we have a time that we're available. We'll end up, you know, uh, you know, help you put your car seat in. And that's the thing people don't realize. We don't we don't put the seat in for you. Okay. Uh, we we help instruct you so you know how to do it because once you leave us, you're the one that's got to be taking it out of the car or, you know, making sure something is tight. So uh, we want them to be aware of that. And that's really where the education comes in. People just kind of get it brand new and uh, they didn't read their car manual to see, you know, where the seat's going to be being placed. Does the vehicle have latch? Are we using a seat belt? What type of seat belts are in my car? Um, and then they go and buy a seat. And sometimes the most expensive isn't the right compatible fit for your child. Um, so, you know, you really want to read the instructions on everything that you're doing from the car to the car seat that you're about to purchase. We do understand it's overwhelming. Uh, sometimes the seats are difficult, uh, even for us to, to get where we need them to be so they're the right level and, and right thickness. Um, forward and backward um, facing. How do we know when to turn that around? Um, at what uh, age, at what weight? <laughs> well, you, a child has to be rear facing for two years. Okay. Um, regardless, we under, I get a lot of questions. You know, my child's very tall, their legs are, again, the way the seats are tested and manufactured, they're gonna be fine. Um, the law in Pennsylvania requires that a child remain rear facing for two years. Um, and at that point in time, as long as they still, uh, if they still meet the restrictions of the seat, meaning height and weight, so maybe they're a smaller child for two years, the recommendation is to leave them rear facing until they no longer meet the re requirements of the seat. Uh, every seat has a height and weight limit on it, um, and, and, and you should follow that strictly before turning the child around. Um, and some of them have expiration dates when it comes to the harness and such things like that. So it's important to really know what kind of seat you purchased and what it's going to do for the child. So again, reading the manual, calling ahead to the barracks, what is the phone number that they can call for that information? Uh, you can reach myself or Trooper Petrosky here at 570-459-3900 uh, and then our extensions are 216 and 269. All right, keeping the community safe, Child Passenger Safety Week, drawing awareness again always. Thank you uh, for joining us here on SSPTV News. Thank you for having us.